just on a side note, if you have someone who's uh, very young or um, is really struggling with these with this concept, um, then what we might want to do is do it in order. So you might want to call out A uh, for apple, and we're just going to go in order. B for bear. A lot of times, kids with autism they like to go in sequential order. C for cookie. D for dinosaur. F for elephant. So going in sequential order, but um, as they get better at it, then you can certainly go in random order. Um, and sometimes what I might do is maybe go up to here sequentially, up to N. And then, because there's less cards here, then we can start doing some random, okay? Er for rainbow. And then it's not as overwhelming because there aren't as many choices. Uh for underwear. Yeah for yogurt. So you can make it as easy or as hard as you need to to meet the needs of the child and to um, target the goals that you're working on. Yeah, or you might even say, do you think it's this one or do you think it's this one? Give them a choice Give of two. Give them a choice of two. So if it's tough for tiger and they don't know, you could say, do you think it's this or this? And go from there. Great. That's a great point. Mary Jane, can you just talk a little bit about the vowels? We have the vowels going down in one line. And then on our hard board, we've actually made the vowels just a little bit of a different color, just to really emphasize how important those short vowels are. So it always is in order. So the vowels are easy to find. And the short vowels are so close in auditory frequency. Um, a lot of times when we're doing the assessment, we find that this is the main area of weakness. So it's always good to target those short vowels. And we'll show you our Make a Pile, Steal a Pile game later, which targets our short vowels. It's a blast. The kids love it.